guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jen and this is Jen's Happy Home. If you are interested in travel videos, vlogs, Disney stuff, organizing, cleaning, holes, lifestyle stuff, um, anything like that, I would be really happy if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I share a lot of different types of content on my channel and um, I would love to share it with you. So I want to thank Hillary from Old World Home, previously my so-called home, for once again allowing us to participate in the $5 Goodwill Challenge. The $5 Goodwill Challenge is basically when you go to your local consignment shop, thrift store, Salvation Army, garage sale, wherever you can find very inexpensive items to kind of spruce up your home for the spring months. And let me tell you guys, I am so ready for the spring. <laughs> Currently, I am looking out of a very snowy window here in New Jersey and the spring cannot come soon enough. So it was a lot of fun kind of decorating for some spring decor this year. So let me go ahead and show you what I found. First of all, I want to say I'm always surprised at how much I can buy for $5 at a thrift store or consignment shop. Um, I actually purchased some of this at the Salvation Army, some of it at a local thrift store and I got like a bunch of stuff for $5 and it was a lot of fun. So let me go ahead and show you my goodies here. Okay, so if you're not familiar with my channel, I live in an old Victorian home and I really like to decorate with um, really old fashioned looking pictures and um, little knickknacks and things like that. I am a collector of antiques and I just loved this picture. Look at how beautiful this is. And it's just like an old fashioned Victorian photograph. And I actually, there's like a little hole here, which leads me to believe that this was once a calendar, but um, I think it's really beautiful. I love the bright spring colors. And I am going to try to either put this in my dining room or in my kitchen area, because it does say, um, it's in French, so I'm probably not going to pronounce it correctly, but I do know the first word is biscuits, and um, she is holding a plate of biscuits. So I just thought this was a really great find, and this was only 75 cents, so a steal at the Salvation Army. So when I went to our local thrift store, I actually had an item in mind, and that was to buy a new candy dish for Easter. Um, I have a lot of really beautiful Easter decor, and I will link a video of that above if you'd like to see my Easter house tour from last year, but I don't really have a lot of candy dishes, and I put out lots of candy for Easter, so I just thought this little guy was so cute, and he was only $1.00. And it's just like the cutest little candy dish. I think it's adorable. Um, and there's plenty of room in here for candy. And it's just this little white bunny. So I thought this was really a great find for $1. Another item that I found was something that I really got excited about because I am a huge Beatrice Potter fan. I recently just went to see the new um, Peter Rabbit movie and my children's nurseries, I have three children. Um, they're older now. I have a daughter who is seven, a son who is 13, and another daughter who is 15. But when they were babies, their nursery was Beatrice Potter. And I could not resist this door stopper of Peter Rabbit. How adorable is that? I really, really love this. It's so heavy. It's like this heavy, heavy cast iron. It appears to be hand painted. I think it's so beautiful, so pretty for the spring. I am definitely going to bump this up against one of our doors and um, I just think it's beautiful. And again, I do love Beatrice Potter and I have like, you know, all of the books and things. So incorporating this somewhere in my house this spring will be very appropriate. And this was only $3. So I still had 25 cents left to spend and I was going to find a way to spend it. And you may not consider this um, exactly home decor, but I do and I really love to put out books as um, kind of like an accent piece in the house, typically around the holidays at Christmas time. I will put out some Christmas books um, that just have a beautiful cover out on my coffee table or in random areas of the house on top of my dresser, things like that. I just think it's really cute and fun to do. And I try to make it a book that's very interesting, like maybe um, a really old book or something that has a beautiful cover. And I found this for 25 cents at a thrift store. And if you're familiar with um, Little Women, 
This is one of the books that Louisa May Alcott wrote after Little Women. So it's a really old, beautiful book. Um, I think it may have come out in like the 1940s. I tried to look it up on eBay and um, one of the descriptions said like 1940 something. I'm not sure, but I just think it has beautiful spring colors. I think it's definitely interesting to leave out somewhere in the house as a little bit of an accent piece just because it does have the bright colors and I think it's very beautiful and interesting to put out with my spring decor this year. So that's four items that I found for $5. I think I made out really good. I'm so excited to incorporate these items in my home this spring. I cannot wait to spruce up the house for the upcoming spring months. I do hope that you enjoyed uh, watching what I found. I'm very interested to see what all of the other girls found on their $5 Goodwill Challenge haul. So um, make sure that you check out everyone else's videos because they are so much fun to watch and some people really get creative. I am not a creative girl, but um, a lot of DIY projects and things going on with some of the things that people find, which is really interesting to watch. So again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was that I found today. And I hope that you'll go ahead and subscribe Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please go ahead and follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram because I do share lots of my life over there as well. I hope you all have a great Easter and spring and take care. Bye.